Hey guys, Dr. Chris Miller from Chirosports Specialists. This week's video, something I feel like I talk about 50 times a day, that's whether I should ice or, or whether I should heat. Now until research definitively proves one's better than the other, these are just the basic guidelines to do. So for ice, what we recommend, either an ice pack, ice bag, bag of peas, or if you don't have that, or if you're on the run, Biofreeze works really well. For heat, what we recommend, heating pad, or sauna, or hot tub, hot shower, any of those things. So for an acute injury, or a flare up of a, even of a chronic injury, which lasts about three days or 72 hours, until again, like I said, research proves otherwise, ice. So generally this is about, like I said, three days, but can last longer, can last up to a week. Then we get into what we call the subacute phase, which is days can last up to months. This is where you kind of get into a gray area, whether I heat, whether I ice, well, this is what we like to do. Ice and alternate with heat. About 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. So that way you get the pump effect of constricting followed by dilating. Next is the chronic, which is just the everyday soreness, the uh, chronic stiff back, any of those things. What we recommend for that, heat. Okay, pretty simple. And like I said, there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there. There's a lot of, you know, people being anti-ice. And, and like I said, there's research on both sides. So until research definitively proves, follow these guidelines. Also, what we get asked a lot is before any activity, what should I do? Before, always heat, because you want to warm it up. Whether, like I said, hot shower, hot tub, sauna, or even a heating pad. Get that muscle nice and warm, and then stretch, get it loose. After, always, and these are, these are no, um, there's no debate here, ice. Ice after, because you've, you've stressed that tissue, you've inflamed it, so you want to calm it down. So you ask the PGA Tour guys when they go weeks of playing day after day after day, workouts, golf, practice, all that, the thing that keeps them going is their ice, their cryotherapy, cold plunge, all that stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to call us, chirosportspecialist.com. Thanks for asking. Hopefully I cleared up some uh, misinformation out there on whether I should heat, whether I should ice. See you next time.